Hello everybody, um, welcome back to another edition of Canoe Club Staff Picks. Uh, the month is February, month of Valentine's Day, so let us share our love of clothes with you uh, <laughs> and pick out some of our favorite pieces that we have in the shop this month and put them together to create some of our favorite fits. All right, um, so for this month, for my fit, I went um, pretty tonal. Um, sticking with the creams and khakis here. Um, fairly simple, um, something that like I would wear definitely just like on an everyday basis, you know, don't want too much effort into it, just kind of in a rush throwing things on, um, but still looking good. So, let's get right into it. Um, we'll start bottom and then go up. Uh, so for the bottom, the shoes, went with the CDG Play, um, Converse, the low tops here. Uh, I only own high top Converse, I don't own any lows, and I really like the way the lows look, especially um, with a nice baggy pant or um, in the spring and summer when you're wearing shorts. Uh, it's a good look, you know, kind of tie them up loose, get a nice laid back look going. Um, and these are like a nice eggshell off-white color. And then um, the trousers, I went with the J-Press khaki suit pants right here. Um, this is the bottom half to the uh, tropical suit that they released just a, uh, with us just a week ago. Uh, really nice and lightweight, um, still nice and formal as well. It looks like a really nice pant. And um, I think, you know, nice kind of like wide cut khaki chino style pant is a staple for a lot of people. Um, it has been for me for many, many years um, through skateboarding and even outside of skateboarding as well. Uh, I love khaki pants, um, especially when I lived in Virginia, dressed a little more preppy as well in high school. Khakis were the, uh, the big fad there. Um, and then moving up top, I'm just going to be wearing my lady white tee. Nice and easy basic to have in your drawers, you know, throw it on under anything. And then the main piece right here is going to be this Marnie hoodie. It kind of reminds me of a marshmallow. Now the color is definitely more like yellowish tan, um, creamy. But the reason I say it reminds me of a marshmallow is it's nice and big and poofy. Uh, when you put this piece on, it feels like you're on a cloud. It's really comfortable. Um, out of all the sweatshirts I've ever owned slash put on, this is by far the best feeling for that big cozy look. And uh, it's got this cool like flower detail on the back. Kind of trippy. And then on the front, I really like the font that they did the Marnie logo in kind of marshmallow, marshmallowy as well, bubble letters. And uh, yeah, all together, it makes a really nice kind of tonal cream fit uh, that's very relaxing and cozy to be in. Um, but also you could definitely, you know, get some work done in it, uh, go have some food out in public. You know, it's, it's a very standard fit in my books and uh, standard is good in this sense. Um, I really like this one and I'm excited to see what it looks like together. All right, hey guys, uh, I'm Chase. I'm back with a staff pick for the month of February. Um, as you can see, I've got my outfit here. It is absolutely twisted. I've picked a bunch of denim. Um, we're definitely waiting for the bulk of our kind of like spring, summer 2022 buy. Uh, that being said, I did get the restock of some Orslo Core items and then um, a couple seasonal, but I wanted to pick from that because we don't have a ton of new merchandise in the store right now. And also I wanted to do something a little different per the per request of Abby. So I've got a full denim kit here. Pretty much all Orslo, some Henry scheme, maybe a little lady white. But let's start up top. The Orslo Canoe Club kind of like chore coat coverall. It's really cool because it's black denim. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff we get is like the two-year wash or the one-year wash, but this is nice and 
punk black, if you will. So, you know, it's showing some wear around the seams. This is my personal jacket I wore today. So, kind of cheating, but it's dope and it's gonna go with the whole kit. Underneath is this just straight up denim shirt, not the pearl snap. This one has like just regular buttons and the collar is buttoned down, but uh, kind of similar to the one rinse fabric from Orso where it's, it's got like all of that kind of like fresh raw denim starch out of it and it just feels a little more worn and a little more like inviting and soft. So what with this guy, one thing worth noting, uh, sizing went up to size six for this for the first time, at least in the history of me being here. Um, so it's really cool. I'm not like particularly large, but I find that I have broad shoulders and this is gonna accommodate my broad shoulders in size five, as opposed to the four formerly being the largest we would get would be too small. So figured to let you know, size up to a five in this. Really excited, should be cool. Excited to put it on. Down low is the uh, navy pant from Orslo. You can see it's also denim, but it's not a standard five pocket. It's kind of got these nice like side entry pockets and uh, you know, a little looser fitting than like the 107 or the 105. Um, and then when you upturn the cuff here, you can see the weft looks a little different. So cool kind of pant, a little different than a straight up regular denim, which uh, I'm just not really uh, a huge fan of. I mean, it's cool, but like everybody wears jeans. So, you know, sometimes you gotta do something a little uh, spicier. Bucket cap up top, you guessed it, denim. Um, I'm not a bucket hat guy, but I feel like I actually like this one. I felt kind of cool in it. So it looks cool. Uh, I think you all agree. I look pretty cool in the hat. And then down low, I'm kind of on a loafer kick. So these guys are the black slouchies from Hender Scheme. Um, I'm pretty sure I've chosen the naturals recently and then the browns as well, but these guys are hot. So it's kind of like that matte black kind of look, um, not like a shiny black leather like in a Doc Martin or something, but yeah, I just wanted something black to kind of like work well with the jacket and so that I wasn't wearing just like straight up blue, which tonal's cool, but like I wanted to have a little bit of interest because otherwise it's just like straight up denim. And we all know how I feel about it, so. But yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this on. A perfect event to wear this to would be the rodeo, um, your cousin's high school graduation, depending if you live in Texas or not. And yeah, I mean, again, like I really like, you can always wear stuff to happy hour, like Chili's and Applebee's. In most situations, you'll be the most sharply dressed individual in there. So uh, yeah, I don't know. The rodeo is, yeah, probably the rodeo would be your best call though, but we'll just see. You might not have a rodeo in your area, but that's it. So I'm gonna toss it on and let's just see what it looks like. Hey guys, uh, my name is Graham. I'm here for the February 2022 staff pick. I'm really excited about this one. Got some pieces that just came in um, that we just shot that I'm super stoked on. So let me just get right into it and tell you what I picked. Um, let's start down low with the shoes this time. I picked these Visvim, kind of like ivory color um, shoe. Just, you'll see with the rest of the fit, I think it's gonna go really well. Um, yeah, kind of clunky. The jeans that I picked are kind of like baggier at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I think they'll fit in pretty well. All right. So we actually just got these J-Press um, utility denim bleach color. We just got these pants in last week, um, shot them last week, and I immediately fell in love with them. Um, everything down to just like the details and the square pockets, um, it's kind of unique. It just has like a baggy look. Um, and these also have kind of like a high waist, so you wear them a little bit higher, 
Um, so yeah, I really like these. I think they're gonna go really well with the ivory colored Visvim shoes. Um, so that's on the bottom. All right, and for the top, I got this really unique uh, portrait shirt from uh, Samuel Zelig. We also, this is very new as well, we just got this in the other day. Um, and I just thought it was too unique, too cool to not wear. Um, it's got these portraits on the back and then on the sides, it's got these long full body portraits. You'll probably be able to see them a little bit better when I'm wearing it. Um, but yeah, super cool shirt. I think it's gonna go really well with the fit. And then underneath this, um, I'm probably gonna have the shirt open, and underneath I'm just gonna have this plain white, uh, lady white shirt um, to tie it all together. So yeah, that's my February 2022 staff pick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw it on, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much once again. Uh, always let us know what fits you thought were good, you know, what things you would change maybe. And um, yeah, uh, thank you so much again for the continued support and hope you guys have a great month of February.